Greetings and praise the Lord. Welcome to today's devotion. In today's devotion, uh, actually starting this week, we are actually going to share on understanding. Uh, this is Bishop Dr. Grace Kariuki of Amazing Grace International Ministries and Abundant Glory International Ministries. Please log into our website at www.agracem.org and you'll be able to see more on what we do and even more on other devotions. Um, we are going to start with uh, Proverbs chapter 2 verse 6. For the Lord gives wisdom from his mouth, calm knowledge and understanding. This, the wisdom we are talking about is from the mouth of God. So when God speaks, he gives you three things when he speaks. What you're going to hear, and if you're going to be focused on what God is saying, it is going to be wisdom that comes from his mouth. And then also, you know, when he gives, he gives you the wisdom and then he is able to speak, to speak that wisdom and it will come forth as knowledge and understanding. May the Lord grant to each one of you knowledge and understanding and you allow God to speak. Because if you don't allow God to speak into your life, if you'll be the only one speaking to God, there is no way you'll be able to have the wisdom that he releases that has knowledge and understanding. Because when, as you are reading his word, you get to know the things that God wants you to have and even the things that he's speaking. And you'll be able to understand that which he's speaking to you because he speaks to you through his word. He can speak to you through his servants, the servants of God. He can speak to you through the Holy Spirit, if you are sensitive and you are listening. And we'll, we'll be able to see what happened to Daniel in chapter 1, verse 17. As for these four youths, God gave them knowledge and intelligence in every branch of literature and wisdom. Daniel was if, uh, Daniel were, um, Daniel even understood all kinds of visions and dreams. When we dream, or when we see visions, many of us, I'm sure, you have dreamt many times, but sometimes you don't have an understanding of what you're dreaming about. And that is why we need God, so that he is able to interpret and give us the understanding of the dreams and even the visions that we have seen and even dreamt. Many times we dream and we just ignore those dreams or we see visions and we ignore them. Sometimes we just think it's because you ate a lot and that is why you are dreaming. But I am here to let you know that if you are going to be focused and allow God to give you the interpretation of the dreams that you have, just like Daniel, you are going to see and even receive that deep revelation that he has for you. You know, these young people, the, they asked the king not to eat the food that the king was serving to the other people, to the other youths that he had talk, taken from other countries so that he can serve him. I am here to let you know that even you can purpose that you are not going to just take everything that the media is giving us. You don't have to take everything that people are saying or whatever that has been said or written. You don't have to receive it. You don't have to take it. What you're going to do, you're going to allow the Lord to speak to you himself, just like Daniel and the other youths that were able to ask the king to allow them not to eat, not to eat his food. And even for us, we have the power to, to declare that we are not going to receive that which is being served by the whole world because there are things that are being served that are not ours. There are things that people, the world is believing and it is not ours. We only need to believe what God has said and what God has done, not just anything. And then in Daniel chapter 2 verse 21, it is he who changes the times and the epoch. He removes kings 
and establishes kings. He gives wisdom to wise men, knowledge, and knowledge to men of understanding. So if you want to be, you know, the, if, you, if you want to be a man of understanding, then you allow God to give you the wisdom. And it's good because the word of God tells us that if you want wisdom, you ask. Ask the Lord to give you wisdom. And he'll give you without even, um, without favorism. He'll give you without partiality. That is what God has asked us to do. Why don't you ask the Lord to give you? Give you the wisdom so that the wisdom that he gives to wise men, that is what he'll give you because when you're a wise man, you'll be separated from the others. You'll be a peculiar person because when things are happening, you will never worry because you have the revelation of why it is happening. You have the knowledge and understanding. So when you have the knowledge and understanding, you have the wisdom from God. I am here to let you know, nothing is going to move you. Nothing is going to worry you. Nothing is going to, um, you'll never be shaken by anything. But you are going to stand on this understanding. That is why understanding there is an under and there is a stand. So that means you stand on a rock that is powerful and permanent, that will never, you never be shaken. So may you choose to become one that has the wisdom of God and may even have the knowledge and understanding that God gives. You'll be able to see more people that were able to receive knowledge, understanding like Daniel, was able even to understand visions and dreams. We'll be able to get deeper and deeper into this. And God is going to bless you. Father, we want to thank you for even giving us an opportunity even to get deeper into the, into the knowledge of the things that you are releasing and even to have the understanding. We are praying that, Lord, as you continue to reveal that the dreams and the visions that you are giving to us and even the things that you have caused, that you desire for us to know. We are praying that, Lord, we are going to be a blessing to many. Those ones who do not know Jesus as Lord and Savior, we are praying that they will choose him to become Lord. And even those ones who do not understand of the things that are taking place, even the spiritual things that are happening. Lord, as we look with our spiritual eyes, we are praying that you'll be able to help us understand and receive everything for your glory. We thank you, Lord, that even as you continue to walk in your ways, we'll please you and even walk in a way that will glorify your name. We thank you and we honor you and give you praise. We are praying for the nations, that King of glory, that are having misunderstanding among the leaders, that, Lord, will enable them to hand and understanding. We are declaring that there will be no chaos in the world, and where there are wars in the nations. Father, we are praying that you bring them into a platform of understanding so that they'll be able to understand one another and be able to and acknowledge that each nation or each leader that you have placed in leadership, you have placed them there for a purpose. We are also praying that, Lord, every leader that you have placed in a nation, they are going to humble themselves before you and acknowledge that you alone are God and you are mighty. We thank you and we honor you as we purpose to walk in your ways to glorify you and even to please you. We are praying all this, believing and trusting in Jesus' holy and mighty name. Amen. May the Lord bless you as you purpose to even this walk in ways that to glorify the Lord as you purpose to choose to understand the things that God is releasing unto us. Can you open your spiritual eyes so that you see what God is doing? and what God has in store for us. For now, log into our website at www.agracem.org and I'm asking you also to follow us on Facebook and even YouTube. You can even subscribe to our YouTube channel at Bishop Dr. Grace Karyuki. Like, subscribe, share, let others also become a partaker of the, these blessings that we have and especially as they understand the season that we are in. Be blessed for now. Shalom. Shalom.